Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys probably know, we do have a new promo that is coming this weekend on FIFA Ultimate Team. There was a loading screen earlier today. I just logged in and there was no loading screen for me. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. I did not have the team of the knockout stage uh, loading screen. So they kind of, it seems like they took that away, which is a little bit interesting. Uh, but that promo is coming um, to FIFA. We saw that loading screen come out earlier today and there were some graphics in the game as well. But we are getting a promo this weekend and it is our first promo in a couple weeks. So we're going to talk through a few things uh, looking ahead to this promo when it drops at uh, 6 p.m. UK on Friday. Kind of look at some things uh, as to what kind of market moves we could see, uh, whether there's some panic that's going to happen before that, which I, I assume there will be in some areas, um, and maybe some investments going forward. Uh, but I want to talk about a few things already that happened today, and that was with the category of the UCL lives. Uh, it's always interesting to me to look at these cards after they get panic sold after a game. And this Sterling card just absolutely tanked today. He's down at 315,000 coins, 313, 314. That is incredibly low uh, considering this card has literally halved in price from his highest point. He was over 600,000 coins um, at one point. Uh, and that's crazy to me because I think his 90 rated left wing card, I think this card has been chilling around like the upper 200s, yeah, 270 as you see there. Um, so this card being a right winger in the Prem with better stats, a lot better stats than the 90, I guess not that much, I was looking at the 89. Uh, but the position in the right wing in the Prem, which is kind of a more rare position, this card is, it's got to rebound a little bit. Now I did see a team of the group stage, or a team of the knockout stage prediction today that had... Uh, the Sterling card maybe getting his own team the knockout stage card so that would create some interesting things that card probably wouldn't rise as much if he got a team the knockout stage and Aguero is around a million coins wow what a price drop for this card as well one million coins flat let's see what happens with this one if he if he was under a million today I haven't looked at these cards a lot um, but He's probably going to get a team of the season card, but this card is uh, its going to be a very good card to maybe get a possible rebound out of. Because again, once we what we saw with these cards from teams that, have, that lost previously in the year was what they, all their supply came after the panic sell. And then after that, uh, they just got a lot more rare as people actually started using those cards uh, in their teams and stuff like that. But the team, again, upcoming this week, it's going to be probably a team in packs. And that's why I want to look at some areas on the market where we could have some panic and why it could be a good opportunity to pick up cards in the panic cell. Now, first of all, the market so far after this, the loading screen has come out, we haven't seen too much panic. Right now, it's Wednesday night when I'm recording this. So this is usually the time where I'm buying some stuff for weekend league flipping. And right now, I'm not really doing too much of that considering I have a decent amount of stuff on my transfer list right now. And I just don't want to get myself stuck in too many things. I'll probably buy a few more items to flip just because we know this promo won't be happening uh, until Friday. And I don't think this, there's not going to be any extra panic that happens because of the promo coming. I just think that anything, if, if anything, we'll see less of a rise from weekly rewards than we usually do. But I'm sure in some areas of the market, we will see a rise. We always do on Thursdays, even though we are promised promos and even though we are supposed to be getting stuff like that, um, the market still goes up and people build team and teams with link investments to the team of the week or uh, just buying special cards and cards on the market in general, meta cards that people use. Um, I think the market will still go up, but I'm not going to buy a ton of stuff just because I don't think it'll be worth it for me to go all in this time around and to spend all that time to sell it if I'm not gonna make that many coins. So that's my reasoning for not going in further on some of that stuff tonight. But as you can see, the market really hasn't moved that much. It says that it's down, but if we look into it deeper, we know that the index gold is really why these are coming down because the initial hype is wearing off from the new SBC that we got today, which was the flashback player SBC, which costs about 134,000 coins to do because uh, I think on PS4 actually, some of the 85s went extinct today. And if we look at the cheapest players by rating, a lot of the higher rated cards are back up really high. 86 is at 27, 28K. 87s over 30, you know, a lot of these cards went flying today. The 85s is 15, 16, 17K as well. 
uh, those are just just very very high so if you're looking at the index 100 and you're thinking wow the market's going down it's going down it's not really going down that much it's just the um, the high rated golds are coming down a little bit from how high they got today and that's why you're seeing a little bit of that that uh, market recovery I guess or uh, market uh, going down in a sense but other than that a lot of stuff still seems to be maintaining a price which I understand uh, it's I wouldn't expect people to panic sell for this team in the knockout stage promotion now I think I mentioned this in my previous video earlier this week but if we would have gotten a team of the um, if we would have gotten a team of the season loading screen and they would have started hyping that up then I would have been in a uh, place where I would tell you guys you know this is probably gonna cause more panic as the weekend goes on but for this promo team in the knockout stage if I think back to team of the group stage, we had a couple SBC cards. We had Laporte, we had Insigne. I'm sure we'll get a few SBC cards uh, during this week. But this doesn't seem to be like a huge, massive promo to me that we really need to be super duper worried about uh, in terms of huge market crashes. Um, so, you know, again, in terms of Thursday flips, I think you want to get out before Friday at 6 p.m. UK just because people are going to be panicking again before Friday at 6 p.m. That's what happens with a lot of these promos, and that's what we're going to want to do if you're on the market at that time is watch the market heading up to the promo drop at 6 p.m. UK. The first day usually isn't a day full of SBC. It's just a day full of packs being opened and people starting to... Uh, maybe the, do the packs or do whatever SBC that's a little SBC that they put out that day. Most times on the first day they don't drop a major major SBC. Uh, obviously that sometimes does change, um, but it, it's really hard to um, to really see the market go down big time, especially in the area of some of these Meadow Weekend League cards. It's a great time to pick some up in the panic sale before 6 p.m. UK um, and then buy or buy them then and then sell them afterwards people open packs they realize all right i didn't get anything too sweet i gotta go build my team again so that i can play weekend league and that's kind of the whole main thing about this panic that we could see and i want you guys to be wary of on the market is watch these cards watch the past informs watch these special cards on the market uh, um heading into the promo when we get closer to 6 p.m uk especially maybe look at some that could link to possible players that we could see get a team of the group stage or a team of the knockout stage card. Um, you know, think about guys that have played really well. I'm sure you're going to see some predictions start to roll out on Twitter. If you're following a lot of FIFA guys on Twitter, you're going to see some predictions of people that are starting to think about what players played really well in the these last few games of the knockout stages and uh, they're probably going to get cards. Now, a, a few people have already started to invest uh, because of this, um, because a couple cards, like if Hyunmin's son, he's been playing phenomenal for Spurs. If he gets um, a Team of the Knockout Stage card, his headliner card will also get an upgrade, and that's why you see this card crazy inflated up right now, over 800,000 coins, because this card would become an 89 rated most likely. Um, if he did get another card um, that would replace this 88. So maybe even Sun could get an 89 and then this card could go to a 90. It just depends on how they do the upgrade. So that's why this card that you're seeing right now is really inflated because I think he's one of the top front runners um, to get a possible card. Even Cristiano Ronaldo, a lot of people are buying his ones to watch card because they feel like he has a shot at getting a team of the knockout stage card even though uh, Juve did not go through. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo scored almost all of their goals, uh, or a lot of their goals. He played really well um, in the knockout stages in these past couple weeks of Champions League play. So he could, is still viable to get a card. You know, guys like Messi. Um, there's definitely going to be some of the Ajax guys getting in there. Maybe a Delict, maybe a De Young, um, Tadic. You know, uh, Ziyech, uh, David Neres, guys like that that have really um, that are really stuck out. Those those are the types of guys that you're really going to see get these Team of the Knockout Stage cards. Um, so maybe we could invest accordingly to some of those um, that could get in. You know, somebody like a... Um, obviously, we're going to get Road to the Final upgrades for Tagliafico, for the Spurs guys, Dobinson, and Aurier. So maybe if we get a, a Yoris, another Yoris special card... You know, maybe uh, like a Carnival Alderwild would be a decent investment at uh, if he can if he drops a little bit more in the panic, 
because you might have a couple guys from Spurs that get into this team, you already see he is down 204,000 coins. He's been 220. Um, that is a that's a pretty good deal actually. I might actually uh, go and see if that is on the market and check it out. But uh, just cards like that, you might take an extra look at as the panic selling, if there is panic selling happening before the 6 p.m. UK drop of this new promo um, on Friday. That's one thing that I want to kind of express to you guys and talk to you guys about that we could see happen. It's a it's a pattern that we see a lot during these promos. It's, there's panic leading up to 6 p.m. UK. It comes out, people open their packs, maybe do one or two SBCs. Uh, it's not like a groundbreaking SBC usually drops on the first day, and then people go and they buy their weekend league teams back, um, and the price is kind of, it's kind of like a quick dip, and then they go right back up, and if you can buy in that dip, um, find the cards that really drop the most in that dip, um, that is a really, really good way to make some profit and make some coins off of a promo like this. Now, I'm, I like these Carnival players because they're still pretty relevant. You know, they were two promos ago, so a lot of people still like these cards. Um, and you know, if City, like if Raheem Sterling gets a card, you might look at this Gabriel Jesus as a possible investment to him, um, because this Jesus card is kind of low. If you see him drop even more, it could be a decent investment. Um, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of these cards are very rare. As we look through a lot of the old Team of the Weeks and other special cards, um, you know, those cards are very rare. But obviously, the weekend or the um, Regular informs are, are good investments as well in, in this category, not this current team of the week. And that's something that we have to now realize is this team of the week is going to have some extra supply because they will probably run lightning rounds this weekend. They probably will have some sort of special packs out for people to pack the team in the knockout stage cards. Uh, so we got to watch some of these cards and their prices. Uh, because they could kind of dip low and it could be an opportunity to maybe throw one in your club and invest. Like a Funes Mori right now at 19k, that's pretty cheap. Um, the striker version, we have two Funes Mori in this team of the week, which is interesting. Uh, but we're looking at the striker 84 rated version for that. Um, but yeah, again, we're just going to have to keep watch on this market. And that's the really what I wanted to talk to you guys about today was that dip and the rise that could happen on Friday. I know I'm kind of looking ahead here, but Friday, it could be that dip and the recovery uh, that we see. Uh, that is a very common thing that happens with these promos that come out because people panic and then they realize there was really no reason to panic and they go and buy their teams back for the weekend league. And there's Aguero, 950,000 coins dipping under. Um, these road to the final cards, I'm probably not going to touch just because I don't want to really mess with them and rebounding since we have like a really short window before team of the season. Now, obviously, if the Sterling card goes under 300k, that's going to be an it's something that I'm going to have to really watch and see and possibly get in on because that uh, would be that'd be a very very cheap card um, for that price range. But again, I don't think there's too much to be panicking about. I don't think it's anything crazy to go panicking about. If you're worried, um, you can sell your team after awards. If you just want to get liquid, that would be the time to do it. I think today, uh, sometime during the day. Uh, they could release more info about Team of the Knockout stage today. We could see more tweets, more information. That would be something uh, to keep in mind. But other than that, I think it's just going to be another typical kind of pack promo. And people are used to these by now, so they know how to react. Um, even though there could be a Messi, there could be a Ronaldo in this team, that's why I think we could see some panic leading up to the promo. Um, you know... A lot of people are not going to be affected by some of those cards that come out into packs. So it's going to be kind of like another pack-based promo, maybe a few SBCs on the side. Um, but other than that, should be a decent time to pick up on some flips. I mean, it always is. Whenever we get a pack supply like this, we have some panic selling leading up to the promo. Always a good time to flip some cards. If you have any questions, ask them down below. I'll be there. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate. The Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.